Today we're going to learn how to draw guns. Now, I taught public school and I would often come along, a kid would do a drawing of a gun like this, put it in a stick figure's hand, and then have something like that coming out of it. And I would always cringe because number one, I wasn't allowed to show kids how to draw guns in a public school. I wanted to say, you're doing it the hard way. There's an easier way that looks better. But instead, I would just say, um, you can't draw guns in school. You're not allowed to do that. Here's how to draw a better gun. We're going to draw two lines. And then in the back, we're going to draw two lines. And then we're going to add a little rectangle here for the trigger guard. And you have a pretty good automatic pistol. From here we can do some other fancy stuff to it. We could draw a line here. So you've got the slide on the top. Put some grippies up here. Sometimes there's a detail down here like this. And then we can carve this up a little bit to make it a little bit more comfortable to hold and put a hammer back there. And we've got a pretty good pistol. Now, if I want to do a revolver, it's a little bit more complex. I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to draw kind of a slanted rectangle like this for the handle. And then I'm going to draw the barrel coming out. And then from this, I'm going to add a trigger guard and the trigger inside, and I'm going to put another rectangle. This is the cylinder where the bullets are. And then we'll kind of smooth this out a little bit and put a hammer. And we'll make this a little bit more comfortable. We'll put some curves into it. So there we go. We've got ourselves a revolver. There's often a, a second thing down here that you can push on to eject the empty casings out. And we'll put a sight on it. All right, I've got this little guy, and we can look at the way the gun is shaped. There's a rectangle, and a rectangle, and a rectangle, and a rectangle. If I try to draw the outside of this, it's not going to look very good. But if I draw a rectangle, and a rectangle, and a rectangle, and a rectangle, and a rectangle. I can make a pretty good rifle. Everybody wants to know how to draw an AK-47. We're going to draw two lines, make a box out of that. Then we're going to make two lines here for the handle. And here's our trigger guard. And then we're going to put a big, long, curved magazine out like this. And then let's put the stock. Now for the AK, you have a little wooden part here and another wooden part here. And then the barrel comes out that way. And then you have a, a gas tube that comes over the top like that. And then you have a large sight in the front and a small sight in the back. And there's often some ribs that come up here for strength. And you have something that looks kind of like a AK-47. Let's do an Uzi. Uzi submachine gun. It looks like a letter T. I'm going to curve the back of that hand a little, little bit. Add our trigger guard and the trigger. We've got a grip in the front. Got a rectangle and our barrel. Our front sights, our rear sights, and sometimes there's a stock on the back of this thing which can fold up next to the weapon. And then we have a big magazine that comes out of the handle like this. Now we're going to draw a hunting rifle. 
I'm going to start with a barrel first on this one. And then we're going to make the wooden stock come all the way back to here. And then we're going to make the butt. Now we're going to carve this a little bit. We're going to come down like that and back up. And we're going to make this come down a bit like this. So you can wrap your hand around it and put your thumb around that part right there. Then we're going to put ourselves a trigger guard and a trigger. And then we're going to make a scope. There's a rectangle and a wider rectangle. A couple things to hold it in place. And we've got a hunting rifle. Now some hunting rifles, the magazine is inside like this. Some of them it's tube fed like this. And sometimes there is a small little magazine that comes out of the bottom. It holds maybe four or five rounds. But some of them you don't see that. You just It's just smooth. It depends on what rifle you're looking at. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to draw the handle and I'm going to draw this part where the magazine goes into and then that turns into my trigger guard. Here's the magazine. Here's the carrying handle. Here's the cylinder. This is a Vietnam era, so it tapers a lot. We've got kind of a high sight here. And there's some little bumps on the top like that. And then we're going to put the full plastic stock on it. That might not quite be right. Right. Now, from the right side, we're going to see an ejector port right here where the empty casings come out. And then we also have a little handle here that you can push on in case there's a jam. And then we're going to add some detail to this thing. We'll put some grooves here to make the magazine stronger. We'll shade that a little darker where the grip comes in. And we'll put a couple little lines here to give it some detail. And then we'll shade this. We don't want to shade this entirely black. If you do that, it's going to be a big blobby thing. And you're not going to see any of your detail. It's going to be dark. It's not going to be black. Now, finally, to make something shoot, to make something shoot, we're going to draw a big fireball. Kind of make little wiggly lines here. And if you want, we can draw a couple of casings flying out of it. And when the gun hits, we can have a maybe a target over here. And we're going to put a little spark like this. Or a poof of dust, maybe, where the, the round came through. So we did some guns today. I hope you enjoyed this. If people enjoy my comments, uh, we can draw some other types of this later. Please leave a comment and uh, feel free to subscribe. Thank you.